Tonight, always a night throughout the year, the new, the old Newsboys Banquet. Our very own general manager, Mark Roman, as well as Tom Cole and Greg Frankie all on hand today. Christina Ohio joins us now with more from the banquet. Each and every year, Buckeye Broadband teams up with the old Newsboys to recognize outstanding student athletes for all of their achievements in two categories. Three nominees are chosen, but only one will win the title of Player of the Year in tonight's banquet. The president of the Old Newsboys, Jeff Ogg, has led the nonprofit organization's efforts in which handed out over $130,000 in gloves and coats to needy children last year and another $50,000 in scholarships. He says he's honored to be part of such a worthy cause. I'm very proud. From the, I've been in the organization about 10 years. I just came, I came down, uh, I've only been in the Toledo area about 15, but I've been part of the organization for now. It, when you say Old Newsboys, my heart just swells out. Uh, Every year when we do, every year when we do the paper sale, I'm, I'm meet, meeting with people and talking about how they were helped f from the organization back in the 40s and 50s, and that makes it all worthwhile. What does an event like this do for the community of Toledo? It recognizes the talent of our youth, those individuals that have excelled academically, that want to pursue careers within the, w w with, w within the community itself. Um, and improve the lot of their families and each other and they want to demonstrate to the, uh, their community that with hard work and dedication and continuing to stay in school, you can be an inspiration to improving the quality of life of everyone within this, this community. That's what it does. Uh, it's my very pleasurable task to introduce to you the nominees for the Old Newsboys Goodfellow Association Volleyball Player of the Year Award. And we have three nominees that I want to tell you about. The first one, Mallory Ladd from Clay High School. Jamie Cox is from St. Ursula Academy. And Alan Spiewak of Notre Dame. The 2016 Old Newsboys Goodfellow Association Volleyball Player of the Year, Jamie Cox. When you heard your name called, what was going through your mind? I was in shock, honestly. I wasn't really expecting it just because there were a lot of good enough, like nominees and I really think that some of them deserved it more than I did. I think they have pushed their team and I think watching them grow throughout their freshman year to now, I think they really did deserve it. So I was expecting them to get it over me. I'm just overwhelmed I, as they were playing and talking about her for me. You know, this has just been a phenomenal road that she's taken us on. Each one of our kids has taken us on a different road, but Jamie's road's just been full of a lot of fun, it's been through a lot of frustration, a lot of, but she just hits every road and goes another way if she needs to and keeps going forward. So it's just so proud of her <laughs> in every aspect, not just athletically. Um, it's, it's, it's hard to express. She, she works so hard um, and it's so exciting to see her with this success, but she, she has earned every bit of, she's worked really, really hard and uh, you know, on and off the court, academically, socially. <laughs> so it's very, it's a very special moment. She just says, to never stop and kind of stick up for myself with any social kind of thing. Finally, for you, what is the best piece of advice that your parents have given you that you'll carry with you? A mistake that you make to so just keep moving forward. Like, yes, learn from it, but never just hang on to it. Let it like keep dragging you down just to move forward and just better yourself. It is my honor to uh, talk about the 2016 Old News Voice Football Player of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the year of the running back. First young man I'm going to talk about, the first nominee, is from Springfield High School. His name is Brian Kobeck. The next young man I'm going to talk about is uh, Marcellus Hunt from Woodward High School. Our last nominee is from Central Catholic, Michael Warren. Now it's certainly uh, an honor and a privilege to call up the 2016 Old Newsboys Football Player of the Year, Michael Warren. fast before they called it. Um, I guess it was a relief when they called my name. And it was an honor receiving this trophy two years in a row. How do you feel right now? I'm um, very proud. A lot of hard work, a lot of dedication. I'm proud of him, man. It's just, uh, I told him it's only the beginning. So I'm proud, Father. <laughs> well, for me, I think this experience is just fun, watching him enjoy do what he's good at doing. So. I'm just most proud of him being able to do something that he enjoys. 
This Friday, the Old News Boys will be standing on corners all over the town of Toledo for their one-day collection event. So if you see somebody holding one of these, please donate. When you do, they'll give you a newspaper that looks just like this. And remember, 100% of donations go to needy children right here in the Glass City. Reporting for Sports Nightly, Christina Awayo.